Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. We have started a new channel, Civils Academy. So, if you find it relevant, you can subscribe to it. Now, let's start. Who has been selected as the new chairperson of SAIL, that is Steel Authority of India? So, Soma Mondal has been selected as the new chairperson and she is going to be the first woman to head the organization. The current chairperson is Anil Chaudhary and he is going to retire soon. Now for the steel sector, recently Purvodya scheme was in news. Apart from that recently, Indian Steel Association was in news as Tata Steel withdrew from Indian Steel Association. The present president of Indian Steel Association is Dilip Oman. Now there was one more ISA which was in news and it is International Solar Alliance. So now as per the new rules, all the members of United Nations can be the part of International Solar Alliance. The headquarters of ISA is in Haryana in Gwalpahari. India signed contract with which country for the development of five ecotourism zones in Addu city. So this country is Maldives. The capital of Maldives is Malay and India is going to collaborate with Maldives for the development of ecotourism zones in Addu city. Now the country was also in news because of Operation Sanjeevani. So this was operation which was launched by Indian Air Force to provide medical support to Maldives. Recently Indian Air Force was also in news because of Rafale and India got its Rafale fighter jets from France. Recently France was also in news because of hammer missiles as India decided to buy hammer missiles from France. Who was the chairperson of ICR IER for 15 years and has stepped down recently. So the chairperson was Isar Aluwalia and now she has stepped down. A new chairperson is Pramod Basin. What is ICR IER? It is a think tank which was established in 1981. Mani Tombi Singh who passed away recently is associated to with sports. So he is associated to football and he passed away recently in his native village in Manipur. Which organization has launched a loyalty platform named Anth Rewards? So it is NPCI that is National Payments Corporation of India and it has launched this platform and as per this platform users can earn points through various bank transactions. So what is NPCI? It is National Payments Corporation of India and it was founded in 2008. It is a section 8 company and it is registered under Companies Act of 2013. What is the meaning of Section 8 company? It means it is a known for profit organization. Recently, NPCI was also in news as it launched UPI Autopay facility for recurring payments. What is the meaning of recurring payments? That means these payments are done on regular basis like your electricity bill, your internet connection bill. These are done on regular basis. These are not one time payment. Which food aggregator platform has launched a delivery service named Instamart? So this has been launched by Swiggy and this service has been launched in Gurugram in Haryana. And as per this service, Swiggy will deliver essential items and groceries within 45 minutes. Now apart from this Swiggy food aggregator, Zomato was also in news. Zomato is another food aggregator platform and recently Zomato was in news because of its period policy. So recently Jometo announced this policy for its women employees and as per this policy all the women employees will get 10 days leave that means period leave in a year. Jometo was also in news as recently it acquired Uber Eats. IC Impacts is an annual research conference between India and which country? So it stands for Canada that means IC Impacts is an annual research conference between India and Canada. Recently, Canada was in news because of Milne iSelf. It was also in news as recently it decided to withdraw from Tokyo Summer Olympic Games. It was also in news because of USMCA. What is USMCA? It is United States Mexico Canada Agreement and it is the replacement of NAFTA. Canada was also in news as recently Azay Bisaria was appointed as India's next ambassador to Canada. Which known profit organization has tied up with Nokri.com for connecting healthcare professionals with hospitals? So recently 
Eco India has tied up with Nokri.com for connecting the healthcare professionals with hospitals. And Eco India has launched a new initiative, and it is COVID Healthcare Professionals. Now, Nokri.com is a company which was formed in 1997, and the headquarters is in Noida. And Sanjeev Bekchandani is the founder of Nokri.com. So, it is a job search engine. Who hosts the at-home reception for the freedom fighters as a part of anniversary of Quit India movement? So, usually, president hosts at-home reception at the Rashtrapati Bhavan to honor the freedom fighters. But this year, states and union territories were requested to honor these freedom fighters at their homes on the behalf of president because of coronavirus issue. Now, recently, President Ramnath Kovind was also in news as he appointed. Anandi Ben Patel as the new governor of Madhya Pradesh. The previous governor of Madhya Pradesh was Lalji Tandon, and he passed away recently. Recently, after his demise, Lucknow Municipal Corporation named a road and a crossing in the city after him. Lucknow was also in news as it was the host of 11th Defence Expo, which held in this year. Lucknow is in Uttar Pradesh. The book titled Connecting, Communicating. Changing is based on the third year of office of which Indian leader? So it is based on the work of our Vice President M. Venkaiah Naidu. It is important to note that Vice President is the ex officio chairperson of Rajya Sabha. What is the meaning of ex officio? That means whosoever is going to be the Vice President, he or she will be the chairperson of Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha is the upper house of Parliament. Lower house is Lok Sabha. Upper house is Rajya Sabha. Now recently. Vice President was also in news as he launched India's first social media super application named Elements. Hasan Diab, who resigned recently, was the Prime Minister of which country? So he was the Prime Minister of Lebanon. And after the catastrophic explosion in Beirut, the capital city of Lebanon, the Prime Minister and his entire cabinet resigned. So the capital of Lebanon is Beirut, and the currency of Lebanon is Lebanese pound. And the country was in news because of the blast, and this blast was because of ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate is NH4, NO3. Which country is to offer military airwaves for 5G wireless networks? So this country is USA. So this will offer military airwaves for 5G wireless network, and therefore this will push USA ahead of China in deploying 5G wireless technology. Now USA was also in news because of Open Skies Treaty. USA was also in news as recently J Arun Kumar was named as head coach of US cricket team. USA was also in news as US aid provided financial support of three million US dollars for Pahel Project of India. US aid was also in news because of Raise Initiative. Answer in comment box what is the objective of Raise Initiative and what is the objective of Pahel Initiative. Which state government has launched Mukhya Mantri Kisan Sahay Yojana, replacing PM Fasal Bima Yojana? So this state is Gujarat. So this is a crop insurance scheme which has been launched by the state government of Gujarat, and it will replace the central government scheme PM Fasal Bima Yojana. Now answer in comment box. Which is the nodal ministry for this PM Fasal Bima Yojana? Gujarat was also in news as recently it announced industrial policy. Apart from Gujarat, recently Andhra Pradesh. Also announced its new industrial policy. It is important to note that Gujarat recently exited from this PM Fasal Bima Yojana, as it considers that the insurance scheme charges hefty premium cost to the state. Which Indian state has launched a new scheme named Indra One Mitan Yojana? So this state is Chhattisgarh, and the scheme was launched on the occasion of World Tribal Day. So this scheme aims to make the forest dwellers self-reliant. Now, Chhattisgarh was also in news as recently it launched Godhan Nyay Yojana. It was also in news as recently former Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh Ajit Jogi passed away. He was the first Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. The state was also in news because of Rajiv Gandhi Kisan Nyay Yojana. So these were the most important questions of today's video. Now we are going to cover important news. Feel free to skip it at your own risk if you do not like the format. So first news is related to Lok Sabha as. Lok Sabha has launched a new French course for its staff and officials, and this initiative will be implemented by Pride. What is Pride? Pride stands for 
Parliamentary Research and Training Institute for Democracy. Next is Student Entrepreneurship Program. So recently, Atal Innovation Mission in collaboration with Dell has launched this Student Entrepreneurship Program for the young innovators of Atal Labs. Next is Swachh Bharat Mission Academy. So recently, Gajendra Singh Sekhawat launched this Swachh Bharat Mission Academy. Now, Gajendra Singh Sekhawat is Union Minister for Jal Sakti. And this academy has been launched as a part of Gandagi Mukta Bharat. Next is related to Mukesh Ambani. So as per the Bloomberg Index, he became the fourth richest individual. Jack Bezos is on top position. He is followed by Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg. While Mukesh Ambani is on fourth position and his net worth is $80.2 billion. Next is COVID-19 National Expert Group on Vaccine Administration. So this group is headed by Niti Aayog member Dr. V.K. Paul. And recently it was in news as this group met for the first time. And the meeting was chaired by the Niti Aayog member Dr. V.K. Paul along with the Secretary of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Next is a report and it is elephants not commodities. So this report has been released by International Animal Welfare Organization. And the name of this organization is World Animal Protection. Now, on the occasion of World Elephant Day, this report was released. And Elephant Day is on 12th of August. On 12th of August, International Youth Day was also celebrated. And the theme was Youth Engagement for Global Action. Next is Kamala Harris. So recently, she was in news as the presidential candidate in U.S. elections, Joe Biden, has selected Kamala Harris for vice president. He is the candidate from Democratic Party, from Republican Party. Current U.S. president is the candidate. So, Kamala Harris is the person of Indian origin and she is the first person of Indian origin to be nominated for the national office of a main political party in USA. Next is Raman. So, recently Sky Root Aerospace has test fired the upper stage rocket named Raman. So with this, the Skyroot Aerospace became the first Indian private firm to have such capabilities. Next is Krishi Meg. So this is an initiative which was recently launched by Union Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar. So it is a data recovery center of ICAR that is Indian Council of Agricultural Research. And this will be set up at National Academy of Agriculture Research Management and this institute is in Hyderabad. Next is offline digital transactions. So recently RBI was in news because of this pilot scheme. What is the meaning of pilot scheme? That means it is on trial basis. So as per this initiative, users will be able to complete their digital transactions even without internet. So now RBI has fixed the upper limit of payment transaction in offline mode at 200 rupees. And the total limit for such transactions on an instrument is rupee 2000. So this is launched on pilot basis. Next is Harsh Kumar. So former Nabar chief has now been appointed as the executive chairperson of Capital India Finance. And last news is related to Tribal Freedom Fighters Museum. So Ministry of Tribal Affairs that is MOTA has announced that nine tribal museums that means tribal fighters museums will be established by 2022. And out of these nine, the largest will be in Rajpipla in Gujarat. So these were the most important event. Now homework. So please read about these terms. What is the clause 6 of Assam Accord? What is Hindu Succession Act? It was in use because of the Supreme Court verdict. And what is SN5 Starship? Thank you and that's all for the day.